Studios in Berkeley, California, with the multi-talented Don Richardson. How thank are you. you? Very good, thanks. Uh, thank you so much for having us. Oh, you're so welcome. Thanks for coming up to the Bay Area. This is an honor. I was very excited to meet you. I read over your bio and I was just, are you kidding me? My God. Oh. This woman, you do so much. Uh, I mean, drums, percussions, you, you're a composer, you have books, you're composing for film. I, I try and keep myself out of trouble. Uh, by doing a lot of different things. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's fun. It's, you know, and uh, lately I've, uh, we're here recording a new project uh, called Mental 99 with Joe Gore, and our guest today is Ralph, playing some saxophones and things, and, uh, you know, just trying to mix it up and do something creative today. And yesterday I was playing with Tracy Chapman, so that yeah. Pretty, that's cool. Too. Well, that's what I get from your bio. I'm like, well, she definitely likes to keep busy, yeah. but also trying new things. And you know, you're not just not not that just drumming is, is that's a nut. That's a lot. But really <laughs> stepping into other areas. Now you've been playing drums for a very long time. You started a, as a young girl, correct? Yes, I started in uh, junior high school and took private lessons mm -hmm. and. Uh, played in marching band and orchestra and all of that stuff when I was in school and I went to college and studied percussion um, and but at the same time I was in LA and playing in rock bands at night so it was a good mixture of music for me. All right, then you got a degree. You went to college. Yes, I got have a, a degree. degree. Percussion. Yeah. M more classical style stuff for me. Um, not so much jazz. Uh, so a little bit. Right out of college, what then happened for you? Um, Right out of college, a few years after that, I, I, I was living in LA, mm -hmm. and I grew up in Southern California, and um, I was playing in bands and um, doing any anything I could to do drumming stuff and teaching. I teach lessons on and off uh, since I learned how to play, I think. My mom said I used to let the neighbors come practice on my set when I wasn't home. I uh. forgot that part. <laughs> but um, a few years after that, I, I got an audition for Four Non Blondes, mm -hmm. and that um, prompted my move to the Bay Area. And I've, right. Uh, so I moved up here to play with them, and I've been here ever, ever since. since. With Four Non Blondes, you guys, wow, you really got to play with some amazing people. You yeah. guys traveled all over the United States and, and actually all over the world. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that experience for you. Um, that was great. I mean, I hadn't really been very far uh, away from California and uh, so I got to go a lot of exciting places and open for big bands that when I was a kid I loved Aerosmith and that was right. one of our tours was opening for Aerosmith um, here on the East Coast. Um, yeah, it was, it was great. It was, you know, playing uh, big shows, festivals in Europe and uh, getting to go to the MTV Music Awards. Right. And, you know, who knew it? That was like, hey, paparazzi yelling when you're walking. I, I had no idea. Right. Yeah, I got to feel what that felt like. So it was exactly. Very cool. yeah. uh, so then you went on from Born on Blondes, and mm -hmm. then um, you've just, you live in the Bay Area now. This is, you've made this your home. Yes. yes. And tell us, is there obviously there's a lot of great music here. There is. And uh, tell us what you've been doing here. Um, I have been doing all sorts of things since since that time I guess and um, I have been writing some drum books for mm -hmm. for Mel Bay uh, I've, I've, I've had a, three full-length books drum methods published and um, I have a new little drum chart that just came out so uh, I do that and teach and I've written some articles on drum for drum magazines I was right. a guest editor one year for a a female-centered issue for drum, mm -hmm. and uh, and I play. We get to record at awesome places like Fantasy and other cool Bay Area studios. And you collaborate with a lot of artists, don't you? Yes, uh, um, I've played with a lot of Bay Area people over the years. Um, Penelope Houston. I'm getting ready to do some shows with um, Deborah Ayal of Romeo mm -hmm. Void and. Uh, just recently this stuff with Tracy Chapman which was cool and mm -hmm. Joe Gore who is awesome and 
Gosh. I don't know. Well, you, I, I also saw in your bio you did a children's. Yes. I recently oh. did a, a kid's album. Um, right. At a group called Alphabet Rockers that uh, we did we, uh, a full-length CD. All, and two of my sisters uh, teach young kids, and so oh. we talked a lot about some ideas, like um, concepts for songs. And, and um, I had a project that played actually at PASIC a few years back in Austin called Two Toggle, and it mm -hmm. was a collaboration with a photographer where um, we synced um, music that I created music and, and then I played live drums and we synced the images and music and playing and it was a pretty cool, different, scary thing to do. <laughs> scary? To be the only one. <laughs> oh, actually, only one on stage. Yes. Oh, wow. It was just me. And so I figured, well, at least if they have, like, pictures to look at. To look at. at. <laughs> <laughs> it Other images, something, something else yes. to look at. Yes, right. so that wasn't, that helped a little, uh, you know. But right. It, but it was a, but it, it was good, it was a good thing. It was, um, and it's it's really cool to collaborate with other Art, art type of artists yes. besides musicians because sometimes the way they talk about music is really helpful to you because you get so used to thinking only in musical terms instead of just artistic terms you know with two toggle that project got me using it more of like I, I call it sort of like a prepared drum set where I use a lot of muffles and mutes and putting things mixing percussion in mm -hmm. with the drum set and putting uh, rattles on the hi-hat and making it so so it's not just oh the, look at that that perfect snare drum sound it's like a weird messed up snare drum sound and you know or a cool different sound right. and you can do a lot of things um if you start going you know letting yourself do some of those yeah let yourself just go there yeah. and then maybe it doesn't sound so great maybe that's actually good yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> well, I think that's great. I love that you collaborate a lot with a lot of different artists. I think that that's uh, very inspiring. And I think that a lot of um, what I do as well is, is, is to collaborate and try to, you know, as a dancer and same sure. thing, you know, to translate how we, you know, we do it in eights and what four fours and this and, you know, it does. It takes you into new areas. So oh, that's definitely. exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, well, you are a DW in Dorsey. Yes. How long have you been with DW Drums? I got my first DW kit when I was touring with Four Non Blondes. Uh -huh. And then um, recently I've been playing the Pacific kits. I have a couple of those. And when I have a a really awesome looking orange sparkle one uh -huh. and then I have the white one here and uh, it's they're great it's you know everyone at the company has been very nice to me over the years and um, it's just been a pleasure and happy to to have them behind me so yeah well you like you said you have a PDP kit here mm -hmm. now do you use that on stage as well or I find that a lot of drummers seem to use it in the studio how about you is it is do you prefer well, I can do both both things. You know, I have it here today. We're recording with it. And then um, this is actually pretty much the same kit that I just took out on the road, too. Uh -huh. So, you know, and I have, uh, I have a littler bass drum that matches this set so I can kind of interchange parts and some different tom sizes. So depending on what I'm doing, I can use different pieces of the kit. I have a little 20 that sounds really cool. And uh -huh. So, yeah, it's... It, it, both things they're great for. They're you know, great. Good. Yeah. Well, good. Well, yeah, that's what we hear from a lot of mm -hmm. um, the endorsees that, you know, take it, take the PDP kit out of the box and it's ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome sounding drums. What other projects or what? I know you've been on the road with Tracy Chapman, correct? Right. I, uh, we did tours of Europe and uh, the States last year, summer, um, 2009. And uh, I, I do shows in the Bay Area with um, Shanna Morrison, who's uh, Van Morrison's daughter, mm -hmm. lives up here in Mill Valley, and she's a great singer and songwriter. We just did her CD release party at Cafe de Nord not long ago. Nice. Um, and then my new group with Joe Gore called Mental 99 that we're kind of working on here today. Um, are my main projects right yeah. now. Yeah. Well, can you tell us where, I know you have a website. Tell yes. Tell us your website where we can go and find out where you are and what's going on. You can find me online at donrichardson.com and uh, I will do my best to 
update myself. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I does. fall behind. <laughs> well, you're so busy doing other things. <laughs> and uh, we know, again, we thank you so much. We we actually walked right into her session, and she allowed us this time. So we really appreciate uh, it. Thank you. And uh, I'm Linda Ceballos from DW's Artist Access.